Located in Perth's prestigious Mossman Park was a tired old 1940s home that recently got a new lease of life. We meet the owners as they take us on their journey. It's definitely a, re a renovation, and we're in probably one of the most, um, I guess, affluent suburbs in, in Perth, would you say? Yeah, part of the western suburbs. Yeah. And across the road is, is, is crazy prices. Yeah. Um, so the area, how did you guys end up living here, and how long have you been here for? We bought here because our girls go to school here. Okay. And my parents live down the road. Nice. So it's easy. So and um, I used to live in the area as a teenager as well. So you grew up in, in Mossman Park. Mm. You've been in this house how long now? A year. Is that all? Mm. So what was here before? So the house we bought probably 2012. Okay. Mm. Um, and then we leased it out. So mm. it was... Uh, okay. With a view to live here, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a large enough house. Two storey, uh, was it five bedrooms, yeah, four bath, and yeah. the studio down the back. Yeah. So okay. contained. So, um, yeah, look, when we bought it, we thought we'd always live here, but mm. we lived around the corner mm. in a house that we bought probably five years older than that. Mm. So, okay. Yeah. And um, I guess while you're leasing it out, you can go and get the plans done to do the yeah. renovation and so forth. Now, furnishings, um, who had a role in, mm. in this? Because I love what you've chosen, it's very retro. Yeah, um, I went shopping with Kylie. The, who's, um, the, who's the designer? The designer. Okay. Yeah, so we got to do all the fun stuff together. So. It's kind of got that madman feel, that kind of like 70s, 60s, or 50s I suppose, isn't mm. it really? Mm. Katie loves cooking. And, okay. Um, yeah, so it's good to see her. We lived in Wellington Street, just around the corner, probably four years. Yeah. We moved from Sydney. Yep. Mm. And um, Katie, I don't think you cooked much at all there. In Sydney? Yeah. We, no, no, in Wellington Street. So we, oh, had a, yeah. we had an open plan kitchen, but it was not really functional. And mm. with two young ones, we didn't have much space. Okay. Come in here, it's, yeah, look, yeah. Katie's really turned Is that right? right? So it's really made a difference to you wanting to cook? Yes. Yeah, I've got my own space to cook, so yeah. I can, they can do their thing, I can do my thing and enjoy it. So, yeah. yeah. So um, who did all the building works for you? Exactus. Okay. Mm, Ralph and his team. Very good. Yeah, very happy with them. So they did our first stage and our second stage. So you got them back for a second time, which mm. means something. They mm. crossed on the, yeah. the first one, right then? Yeah. Um, yeah. They also did the, all the garden and landscaping, didn't they? Yes, yeah. He did everything. The first stage was to do up the kitchen and the living area and the study. And then the second stage was to do the garage, uh, do the cabana outside, remove all the pay the decking that was around the pool, um, and install paving around the pool and do all the landscaping and new driveways um, and a new verge. So yeah, there was quite a scope of the second stage. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. I said when it's all done, I just love the design of it. I love doing this high-end um, work. It's just... People have such fantastic choices and uh, ability to be able to pay for them. And then you can tell the difference between the good quality and the, and the cheap rubbish. Yeah, we had an uh, interior designer is uh, Quattro Interiors and a architect was Stellar Design. So um, we had those guys organise everything. We just came in and gutted it and then started putting it all back together again. All right, well, I mean, every madman, um, you know, <laughs> Don Draper, house needs to have, have a bar yes uh, and you've obviously made sure that that's um, been implemented yeah I think that was um, that was my gift yeah. in the renovation it's because nice. I gave up with the pantry the butler's pantry is actually an old wine cellar okay yeah. and uh, I think it was a crazy place for a wine cellar because it, it copped the, the western, the western heat, heat. Yeah. yeah it was insane so we've moved the cellar underneath the study where the girls are okay great and um, so yeah Katie enabled me to have a a, a, a proper bar, bar which is, which is great. Yeah, actually. it's a good, and just, it's a feature for the dining room as well. So. Yeah, yeah, and it's, just, it's, it's such a throwback to that era as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, well, I guess costs. What are we looking at? I mean, what's if someone's got a house like this, what's it going to cost to achieve this result? So, all up, it was probably about three quarters of a million. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, seven hundred fifty thousand. Seven fifty, and and when we looked at the options, you know, 
knock it down, rebuild. Um, for a house on this size block, yeah, we, in we this have, area, yeah, yeah, million and a half to yeah. So we we're thinking it's a reasonable compromise, absolutely, um, but a good result that we can enjoy. So. Well, all right, you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much for uh, showing us around today. Thank you so much. Yeah. No worries. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Katie. Bye. Thank you. Thanks.